we have got the Tahoe loaded down. Loading up one box. One the last one. box. <laughs> so we are checking out the <laughs> HDF Merch Center. <laughs> and the ladies have been working hard all day. Getting ladies, Bethany, Bethany a shadow. shadow. And I've been helping. <laughs> and Liz just got here to load up. I've showed I've been carried one box. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, figured we'd give y'all a sneak peek. And someone has been here TikToking. That's why the lights are on. <laughs> anyway, this is the HTF Merch Center. So I know Jonathan has been giving y'all plenty of content, uh, getting ready for Bristol uh, at the shop. So I figured I would give y'all kind of a back, behind the scenes tour of the Merch Center because Bristol, of course, uh, is a pretty big deal on the merchandise side for us and, and all the bigger Lake Mall teams that have merch trailers and everything uh, and what we've been doing uh, here. Last year, I think we ran out on, of merchandise <laughs> to sell on the, the the second on the last day before the races even started. So I, I don't think uh, we're not expecting it to be as big this year as it was last year, the crowd and everything. But still, think you know we we, we ordered a whole new order uh, that just came in yesterday. Um, that's why we've been in here. You can see the mess it's been <laughs> getting going through and everything, inventory and everything, and then and separating what stays here so you can go buy it online and uh, what goes in the merchandise trailer. Um, so anyway, Bristol's. It's a pretty exciting deal. I think everyone's pretty excited about it. Uh, a lot of buzz about it uh, online and, and, you know, everyone talking about it. So it'll be pretty cool to get up there and see everybody and uh, get to do some some racing. Joseph's racing the super late model. Uh, last year was a crate, so it's a step up. And uh, pretty exciting to go up there and run such a big show at such a famous place. I want to let y'all know we didn't have anything from Southern last weekend, the Southern All-Stars race that Joseph won on the, uh, the flat tire, because uh, we actually weren't there. Um, someone got uh, sick. Uh, I got the rest of the family sick. <laughs> it wasn't um, COVID. No. But we did get sick, and we didn't want to get everyone else sick yeah. just a couple of days before Bristol. So we decided yeah. to stay home. So we I'm still kind of stuffy. Nasally. Yeah, we stayed home and watched it on flow. Uh, kept the kids home too. So, um, but the good news is that we're all well now, and it's what Tuesday, and mm -hmm. we're getting together, getting everything ready to go to Bristol. Um, we are going to head up to the uh, shop to get the merchandise. I am. I think you're going to get the kids. Yeah, I have to go so. get the kids and. Get back to uh, work. But anyway, so um, we'll get up there and go from there. We made it. Barely. Still, <laughs> yeah. still rain though. Yeah. So this is our merch trailer. Three. We don't have uh, cabinets up top, so we have to make do with these things. It's better uh, better than what we had last year for Bristol. Definitely. La 100. Last year Definitely. we had this trailer just jam packed with everything and uh, our tent outside of it. So we have upgraded since then. But uh, it's starting to rain, so I don't know if we'll get to show off the merch trailer much today. So we are actually taking this trailer with us on the trip as our uh, storage. Gonna store all our extra stuff in here that doesn't fit in the merch trailer. So uh, we gotta get that sorted out. And probably our extra doors and quarters and stuff that we need to sell and get all that situated. So those who uh, follow the channel know, or you know, are into racing know that these are the uh, used up panels off the cars that we sell, that you can buy and people like to buy them and hang them on their, uh, get their hang them on their walls and stuff like that. So we got a stack of those to take with us too to hopefully sell at Bristol. So if you're coming to Bristol, you can come get them. So what I gotta do is get all this situated because these can't ride like that. These boxes put down and everything in this trailer and still leave room to put all our suitcases and stuff up there. So, uh, anyway, y'all hang tight while I do that. I started my own channel. You did? Yeah. So Do you allow Mickle Bobs on your Yeah, channel? I mean, you know, okay. it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you watched both videos. I did. Through, right? I did. Liked yep. them. I did. I didn't see any comments. Right. I didn't comment, yeah. but I haven't had any Jonathan comments or uh, Joshua comments directly <laughs> on mine either. So. <laughs> I've, I've commented before. <laughs> maybe. <yours>. Maybe once. <laughs> Have you seen uh, who's going to be at, at uh, Bristol? I did YouTube. see that. I did, yeah. I did see that. Yeah. Uh, he called me. Oh, he called that. me? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So 
We talked for about two minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is Diggins Z71, Dylan. He's a straight line racer, drag racer. And one of his, would, would that be like an idol of yours since you're a YouTube drag racer? Yeah, well, I guess he's, uh, you know, he's he's kind of the metric that if you are if you are in motorsports and you want to be active right. on YouTube, then they, he's a pinnacle. He's one of those things. Yeah, that, even for us. Right. Not just your, yeah, you know, all kinds of He has set the standard yeah. or, or he is constantly raising the ceiling of what you Have we even said who do. we're talking about? It's Cletus, Cletus. McFarland, yeah, <laughs> if you didn't yeah. know. Uh, but getting to the point, he last week uh, posted that he was going to be at Bristol racing right. a, a, a stock car. I run the Hunt the Front Facebook page, you know, most of the social media um, stuff I, I, I do. So I commented on that post via Hunt the Front, like, hey, we got a spare late model if you need one, or we know a guy. <laughs> right. And um, right before, actually, before I even commented, I didn't see it, but he had messaged our Instagram page mentioning, asking if we were going to be there. And, uh, so anyway, we've talked a couple times. Uh, he called me yesterday and we're going to, you know, we're, we're, we're taking our spare car and <laughs> we could bolt, we'd have to get a bigger seat. He's yeah, a lot it's taller. a wrap. Yeah. So but anyway, who knows? <laughs> Stay tuned. That's nothing official, but nah, we'll see. Speaking of big decisions and life changing decisions that one may regret or hopefully not nah, <laughs> anyway so. no, i'm just kidding dylan is what getting married soon? i'm getting married yeah, yep yeah, it's like exciting. 39 days i think 39 yeah. days we're getting married so Winding but down. the bigger news to that is that like in about two weeks we got a bachelor party yes so that's yeah. bigger news than getting married have you we figured out what's going on so i think we're gonna go to tampa tampa that's what i heard yeah and then the idea is to hit the uh the hard rock one night and then this the steakhouse we, down there we've been to the tampa hard rock at east bay rain out yeah, once uh, yeah. it, it's a lot of fun <laughs> and then um and then maybe the following day try to hit a go-kart track and yeah. a top golf that are both there, there you too. go it'd be so, a fun time and Good then stuff. whatever before or after we live it up to, so <laughs> <laughs> live it up before you tie the knot so right no, that's, uh, that's exciting, him and Allie getting married. Yeah, so, it's good been luck. a long nine years, so it's time. <laughs> it's time. All right, so change plans. We uh, are taking this truck, Joseph's Dooley, which you see here. Daniel and I, who's just getting in on the other side, are going to be driving it to Tennessee, pulling the merch trailer, and we are going to have a four-wheeler in the back of it, and we want to load said four-wheeler before it rains. There's supposed to be some storms coming through. So we don't have to load it the yeah and all that and get everything kind of situated so we don't have to do all that in the rain tomorrow if we decide to leave while it's still raining you good anyway so this is daniel so i know you guys if you watch on the front you've probably seen this guy before uh daniel he's he's not in a lot of the videos maybe in the background because he's a little i guess camera shy or uh, what you would call uh, I'm it not camera shy <laughs> I, just, uh, I don't have a role here other than working in the background so i've always helped uh jonathan and joseph with logistics and um, getting things where they need to be and people where they need to be and and helping out with the car but again always uh just kind of working behind yeah. the scenes so the videos may not make him look like he's a big part of what we do but he's a huge part of what we do i like to tell people he's kind of a a mentor i think that's the word i yeah i, I am use. the oldest guy the yeah video, by the way so, and, yeah so he does he's a big help both he'll come with us a lot of these big trips uh to help with the merchandise or just whatever needs to be done um and uh and then also like some decision making stuff like business related stuff he's a big help there uh he knows his stuff when it comes to that so anyway that's uh that's daniel you know if you next time you see him on come the channel see me at the merch yeah trailer. He's, yeah a lot of times you, you'll see him at the merch trailer he'll uh come say hello maybe get a pick with him he smiles pretty sometimes <laughs> and uh anyway we're gonna go get this four-wheeler getting the four-wheeler loaded Daniel shot. It's nice. Built it himself. Or erected it himself. There we go. All right, so we made it back to the shop. You can see, hold on, let me turn oh, you They're right. still, the guys are still working in the shop. I think they're going to try to load tonight. I don't know. Daniel and I are going to, I guess we're going to finish getting the trailer. Hey, what are you doing? Anyway, the girls did a fine job getting everything ready. We got to take these down and put them in the floor down here so they ride. And we got other stuff we got to put down here. So, and then it'll be pretty much ready, I think. Time to hook up to the trailer. Hey, you got to be careful jumping in my truck. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Backup camera and all, I ain't used to all that. My, my old Chevy don't compare. Anyway, when you go to time to hook up and you got 18 vehicles 
in the driveway here, it comes uh, becomes kind of complicated. Musical cars we're playing here, but that one's going to one of the trailers. I think the merch trailer because it's lighter. I may be wrong. And then the one Daniel's in, Joseph Dooley's going on the other trailer. All right, there's a look at the ten car. One of them. The other one's already loaded. Daniel and I've been busy, so I didn't film much. But I think we're calling it a night here pretty soon. Or I know you are. <laughs> I think I'm I can waiting tell. on the pizza. We can't rush oh, that's off right. until pizza. the pizza gets here. Yeah. We gotta eat first. Yeah. All right, well, I'm turning this off because that's been enough. I don't know if I got enough stuff, but hopefully y'all enjoyed it. If not, watch Jonathan's video. It'll be much better. <laughs> anyway, all right. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, stay tuned. We'll do some stuff on this channel for uh, for Bristol here and there. Liz is going to, I think she's flying up with the kids Saturday. Uh, Daniel and I, like I said, are going with the, the crew tomorrow, hauling the merch trailer, and uh, she'll be bringing the kids up Saturday, hopefully in time to go to the race Saturday night. Uh, and I think she's gonna make try to make a video of the uh, trip and getting to the track and everything there So y'all stay tuned appreciate you watching uh, watch Bristol on XR cheers on and uh, See ya